Oh, Pullman. Wow. Man, last time I was on the mic in Beasley, I had the tears flowing. So I don't know if it'll be the same again, but I'm going to try not to cry because this is pretty special. But, oh, I miss you guys too, man. I'm back home. Oh, man. Well, I'll never forget in uh, 2007 when Tony Bennett and Ben Johnson came to my parents' house, sat on the couch, and I just fell in love with, with what Tony was speaking to me. It was just, he, he put together a vision. I came up to Pullman, flew in from Seattle, saw the beautiful wheat fields of the Palouse. You know, then proceeded to go to campus, hang out with my teammates, future teammates, and that's what really sold me on this institution. So I look up here, I see the 2008 Sweet 16 team, and I just, man, I fell, I fell in love with that team, man. I don't even know. I just saw how it was a brotherhood. That's what I saw from afar. Those guys, they might have been friends for a couple years, but it seemed like they grew up together because they were so tight. And my host, David, who's here tonight, great to see you, David. Give it up for Harmerling, the original stretch four. <laughs> Abe, Charlie, Ben, Char all you guys, man, the best times at Pullman to see Brock on the screen, too. That was my best friend here, roommates. And man, was, time just goes so fast. So when I saw that team, I wanted to be a part of that. I saw what they did for the city. I saw the love they got from everyone in the town. And that's what I wanted to be a part of, just to inspire people. And I know we've done amazing things with the Warriors. Side note, give, yeah, thank you. A lot of Warrior fans up here, it makes me happy. So, special thanks to Joe Lacob, Steph Curry, Johnny West, Zaza, Bob, everyone from, the Oregon, everyone from the Warriors who was able to make it. We've done some amazing things. And who would like to see a couple more championships in the future? Yeah? So, we're gonna get to that. But before that started, before that started, I had to come, I came to Pullman and I felt the love here before anything happened internationally. And now, gosh, it was the best playing in front of my family, my Uncle John, my cousin Jack, Katie, Mitch. And I'm, every time I walk in here, I get chills because I think of my grandfather who passed away, my grandpa Jerry, man. There's not a bigger, not a bigger fan than my grandpa Jerry. And he would be sitting 12 rows up. There wasn't a ref he ever liked. There was another team he ever liked, and that man would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody if it came to his grandson. So, I think of my grandfather. I miss him a lot. Man, that's where, I know my dad played the league, but everyone asked me where I get my competitive fire, I don't talk a lot. It definitely came from my grandfather, and that, that's for sure. But, uh, man, I just want to thank you to everyone who come, came out. This is very special. No matter what uni I put on, hopefully a warrior for the rest of my career. But uh, I will always be a Coug. I will always be a Coug. And I'm, I'm, so, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for where basketball has taken me. It's taken me to China, Brazil, New Zealand, Spain, around the world. But there's nowhere like Pullman. There's nowhere like the Palouse. So thank you guys. I love you, and go Cougs! And that's Clay Thompson with and the jersey you, about crew. to be taken to the roof. All you guys. Thank you, Zoo Crew. Here in Beasley Coliseum, our director of athletics, Pat Chun, is now on to the microphone. Clay Thompson just kissed the center court logo. He has a...